My mum's on Facebook. Yep, that's right. 2011 marked the year that my mum jumped into social media in a big way. Who would have thought that my mum, someone who never even held a mouse 10 years earlier, would be liking and poking her way around the internet? <laughs> Facebook used to all be about the cool kids. Now it kind of feels like my mum's crashed the party. How has her age group grown 900% in one year alone? And what does that mean for a digital creative like me? Well, to find out, I'm going to take you back in time, to a period in time when Facebook was just a twinkle in little Mark Zuckerberg's eye. Back to a period in time where my mum first encountered the computer. It's 1994, I'm 10 years old, and I'm just about to go to school. Mum and Dad invested in my very first computer. Little did they know that this was going to offer me so much more than just copying and pasting articles from Encarta into my homework. This was going to turbocharge the way I communicated with friends. As I discovered social media in its earliest form, the chat room, instant messenger. Mum just didn't get it. All she saw was a device that kept me out of bed at night. Wow, 15 seconds. <laughs> a few years later, with me off to uni, Mum's got to jump on the computer and fire up the computer for the very first time. Reluctantly, she writes her very first email. Revolution, hallelujah, the computer finally has a use. And even if she's only using it for this one thing at first, there's no denying that it being into her, jumping into her uh, regular media intake it gives us something else to do than watch EastEnders in the evening too. Over the next few years, she's maturing into the computer. She's doing the things that I was doing a few years ago. She's, She's finding a house on Street View. We've all been there. She's getting amazed by this. <laughs> a few years later still, and with me to make the move to Sydney, I utter the words to her that are going to change her digital life forever. It's okay, Mum. You can find me on Facebook. Whoops. <laughs> well, the very next day, she does jump on Facebook. And before my plane even hits soil in Australia, she jumps on and has her very first friend, me. And she doesn't stop there. She starts looking at my posts. Facebook was never going to be the same again. And she even starts trying to talk in digital lingo, inappropriately LOLing on my posts. No, no mum, LOL doesn't mean lots of love. I had created a social monster that was out of control. So it wasn't that bad, but Zuckerberg's movement from taking Facebook from the cool kids to a much wider open to everyone strategy is having some impact on the way people use the site. Mum would now be watching. And how are they going to get me back from looking at videos of cats online? Well, you've only got to look at recent updates like Timeline and uh, Smart Groups. They're all designed to bring me back and make the service a lot more personal again. And you know what? They may just work. The truth is, with every man and his dog now on Facebook, it's undeniably the greatest way to communicate with people on the planet. And now my mum's there too. Does that really matter? I mean, she's got to communicate with people as well. Here in Australia, we use the internet more than any other country in the world. And my mum, she uses it a crap load. 19 hours she spends on that a month. It's an undeniable amount. So maybe her love to look in... Um, her need to uh, look after me has undeniably led to her love of social media. And Facebook's making a crap load of money too. It turned over $1.6 billion last year alone, doubling profits from the year before. So there's no denying that people aren't using the service. And what does this mean for digital creatives like me? Well, it means that my mum now kind of has an understanding of what the internet was. She's on Facebook now, we know where she is. If I was a brand trying to get to her now, I'll go to Facebook, she's already there, it's easy for her. And for creatives like myself, it could finally be goodbye to those 25 word or less bloody competitions, and hello to something a lot more exciting, as we look to utilize the tools that she's learning every day thanks to social media. You've only got to look at the stuff that she's doing every day. She's sharing virtual cows for God's sake. This is the woman that hated my Tamagotchi when I was a kid, and now she's looking after virtual farms. This is unbelievable. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, thanks, Mum. I think that 
as my uh, demographic becomes a little more desensitized to Facebook, maybe looking to get their social kicks elsewhere, I'm going to have a bit of fun with you. So kudos for you, Mum, for jumping on Facebook. I think you may have made my life a lot more exciting. Thank you.